What's up, Madden Gamers? This is SNA Exclusive bringing you guys another offensive tip, one of my rare offensive tips because I'm a defensive guy. I'm going to show you how to attack a cover four defense today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you stick routes, slant routes, dig routes, and uh, running the ball. So the first play, this is just any generic quick audible. This is just what I ran up. Uh, wound up on is the play stick out of any trips formation. You're going to want to look to Jordan Cameron first, your tight end, and then you're going to want to come backslide to the slant if the user jumps that. It all depends on who the users play. Lots of people love to use those middle linebackers, so you're basically just going to toy with that middle linebacker, make him choose a read. What you'll see right here is that Jordan Cameron gets an easy completion and a soft zone coverage, and that's basically what you want to do. A lot of people love to run crossing routes and all this other stuff, and I'm like, that's fine, but attacking a cover four, it's very hard to go deep, and it's very hard to go seams down the middle. So you can see I've got two choices here with either Jordan Cameron on the stick route or the backside slant to Stills. So now I'm going to audible to the stick route, and I'm going to show you how effective it is when guys just sit in zones and you just flood those those short zones like this. So. Here you go, all you're going to want to do is read Jennings then to backside slant and you can see Jennings gets a nice easy catch for about 6-7 to seven yards and now you're just moving the chains, you're just going to play a move the chains offense against cover 4 defenses here and you can also run the ball out of spread as I do there. There's a lot of ways you can attack cover 4, it's just not the conventional ways that Madden gamers usually think of doing. Again, as soon as Jennings breaks it off, throw it. I like to pass lead up. So pass lead up and a bullet pass, it leads to those better rack animations. Um, usually if you don't, you might get people coming back to the ball and stuff like that. You can see that I got my slants going here. You can pick a side and throw a slant. You know, the only way these passes are getting picked off is if someone jumps it and guesses right. You're having to throw two sides here so I can throw right and left. They're both open. It doesn't matter. So you can see I'm going to run the ball again here. I'm going to get a nice gain out of it. This is about that's about a 15 yard gain just running, uh, just running inside zone out of shotgun, spreading them out a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to try. I'm going to look. Okay, yeah. So here's when I'm going to come to the backside dig. You can see ball comes out on time. Kenny Stills just drops it. That's fine. It's practice mode. We're just we're just seeing how these route concepts play out. And the backside digs are very effective against a cover four. Especially with that tight end going down the seam, you can see Kenny Stills gets to a soft spot. He gets the ball on time, and that's where you want to throw that ball. Of course, he drops it, but that's that's irrelevant. So he throws that ball. You can go up the field. You can go sideways. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you can also you can run these flood concepts. That Y receiver will generally get behind any coverage, but just for the purpose of this play, I roll out. I hit uh, Kenny Stills in the back of the end zone there for a touchdown. Uh, I think I'm going to run another running play here. You know, you can get, that's a quick 5 to 6 yards just on a run play. Cover 4 this year, I made a video on the defense of Cover 4. It does play the run very well, but you can, if they don't have good user safeties and good positioning with those user safeties, you can get outside on those runs like I just did in the previous play. Uh, this will just be a stick play. This is a perfect play to run against Cover 4 because you've got the backside slant along with lots of stick routes over the middle. It's really going to give a user defender fits if they're trying to sit in a cover four shell. Same thing, those those stick routes. And, and that's that's going to be the concept, guys. If someone's playing a cover four, you're going to want to run these stick routes. Get them out of that cover four. Get them playing cover three, cover two. The last thing you can do if you really want to go down the field is throw this th th these flood concepts. It's the same flood concepts that beat it. You just send an, a go route and... Uh, a flood route as well, but hope you guys enjoyed these tips. I'm SNA Exclusive. See you guys later.